This past week was very busy for Greek Life fraternities. Potential new members were gathered and shuttled to fraternity house tours and dinners where they met with brothers from every chapter. At the end of the week, Rushies picked up and signed for their bids, stating which fraternity they pledged to. The hectic week was mediated by the Interfraternity Council, or better known as the IFC. Congratulations, Chris, on a successful Rush Week. Thank you very much. I appreciate y'all taking the time to sit here and talk to me. Absolutely. Um, can you tell us exactly what it is that you do on the IFC board from week to week? Okay, on a week to week basis, we basically regulate the way the fraternities here govern themselves and are prominent on campus. We simply make sure everyone's following the rules and uh, striving towards academic excellence as well as fraternal excellence and most importantly, um, being involved in community services in, in those regards. And how busy were you during rush week this uh, week? It was, it was completely stressful. It was, it was very, uh, very busy process. A uh, month into it, we were totally behind the eight ball. Nobody really knew about rush. We didn't have any of the rooms reserved. Um, nor any of the kids signed up. So it was a pretty pretty valiant effort to get everybody signed up, market the idea, and convince these kids to join a secret society here on campus. So you work well together then with uh, all the fraternities being different and their stereotypes? Oh, absolutely. Uh, fraternities here on campus are very different. They bring their own sort of regard to Greek life here. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's definitely easy working with these guys. They're great guys, high quality men, um, very easy to work with, very helpful in our regards. I think for the fraternity and sorority community, uh, one of the major goals that I have um, is letting the campus community know about us. Um, and when I say that, I'm, I mean um, in print and what our students are do doing, as well as um, being able to work with different offices, um, knowing who our students are so that um, if there are some good things happening um, in the academic world, the academic people can see, oh, there's a number of students in this class that are of this chapter and they see that they're doing very well. Or um, if there are things that um, could be hindering the fraternity and sorority students that um, perhaps a, an office like um, the counseling center can say, hey, we're seeing a trend in this type of organization. Um, if you have the opportunity, can you reach out? Can we intervene, things like that, and, and assist those chapters in whatever um, things that we may not have had the ability to do before. For more information on Greek life at Georgia College, be sure to stop by the Greek Life office on the third floor of Magnolia Ballroom or visit their website at www.gcsu.edu slash studentlife slash Greek join. Reporting for GC360, I'm Megan Rochester.